think the typical way to try to get out of something is to have someone credible lie for you. But sometimes, like in the case of John Morant, even if what his camp is claiming is true, it still sounds like a lie. What's up, everybody? Thank you for making your way back to The Fumble. I'm your host, Jackie Ray. I need you to do me a favor. Make sure you share this video with a friend. Give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And for more sports and news content, make sure you follow me on Instagram and YouTube at Jackie Ray TV. This John Morant thing has been a hot mess since the Denver Stripper Club with the tiny pistol. But now it's just all over the place. First, Adam Silver basically said the only reason the league hasn't taken action against John Morant is because they don't want to take attention away from the NBA Finals between the Nuggets and the Heat. What the hell else did they find? The commissioner said, quote, we've uncovered a fair amount of additional information since I was last asked about the situation. We probably could have brought it to a head now, but we made the decision, and I believe the Players Association agrees with us, that it would be unfair to these players and these teams in the middle of this series to announce the results of that investigation. That's not good news, and now we just have to wonder if it's too late. Ja seems to understand that he was hanging with the wrong crowd. According to Blast, Ja has unfollowed his childhood friend, Devontae Pack, and has unfollowed MBNO clothing brand, which Pack owns and stands for My Brothers No Others. Everything you've heard negative about Ja Morant, Devontae Pack was there. This feels like an awakening, but then again, we thought he had an awakening before when he said he had to be smarter and more responsible. That was before we saw a second gun that sparked this full investigation. But now, it seems Jaws Camp is saying what we have is all wrong. On The Breakfast Club, Claudia Jordan said her sources tell her that the gun Jaw had in the second video was a toy. Let me go on record and say, even if that's true, we do not care. You have to be a special kind of something if you get in trouble for flashing a gun and then months later, while listening to a song about killing people, you willingly flash another one, toy or otherwise. I personally don't think it was a toy because, remember, the commissioner said the investigation turned up more evidence. So even if it was a toy, does it matter? You let me know in the comments below. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray, and thanks for watching The Fumble.